Welcome or welcome back and I need help at C squared. In this example we have a rational inequality and you really need to be careful because this is not zero, it's two. So the first thing we're gonna do is to subtract two on both sides. And we're gonna end up with x plus three over x plus five minus two less than zero. And now we, we're gonna have to uh, combine these two expression and we're going to have x plus 3 over x plus 5 minus 2 times x plus 5 over x plus 5 less than 0. Right? You notice uh, the expression, the new expression that replaced 2. Right? And now we're going to combine these two rational expression x plus 5 is the denominator and then we have here x plus 3 minus 2x and be careful minus 10 less than 0 and the final form here is going to be negative x right because x plus minus 2x is negative x positive 3 minus 10 is uh, minus 7 over x plus 5 equal uh, less than, I'm sorry, 0. Now I can do the sign table. I'm going to call this function we have here f of x to make the thing simple. And uh, let's see the sign. Uh, we notice that the numerator is 0 when x is uh, negative 7, right? And the denominator is 0 when x is negative 5. So negative 7 here. And the uh, numerator is 0, which means the fraction is 0. Negative 5 here. And then the denominator is uh, 0, which means the function is undefined. And if we use uh, some value now, if we use uh, 0, we end up with uh, negative and for the numerator and the positive for the denominator. So then we're going to have a negative outcome. If we're going to use a number between negative 5 and negative 7, like negative 6, then we're going to get a negative value for the numerator and a negative value for the denominator so we have a plus here and let's do one more time for a number that is less than negative 7 like negative 8 uh, so the numerator becomes a positive number and this one a negative number the denominator so the general outcome for this third interval will be a negative number so now looking to this inequality which is equivalent to this one the solution set is negative infinity, negative 7, and it's just less than, so we, we need a parenthesis, union with negative 5, negative 5, and infinity. Okay. If you want to look to the graphical approach, you can look to the graph and uh, you notice the graph is under the x-axis right here. Under the x-axis right here. And from here to whatever. So yes, it match the algebraic solution. If you enjoyed this video, don't forget to click the like button and come back on C-square for more help. Thank you.